Hi, I'm Sergio Castello Lopez, and I'll be playing Copland Clarinet Concerto with the Halle and Christian Machelaru on December the 5th. This concerto is basically um, written in one movement. It's been commissioned for uh, the clarinetist Benny Goodman, who was uh, a very famous jazz clarinet player, the king of swing. Um, and it, as I said, it's only in one movement that has two parts, basically. A uh, first um, part, which takes nearly half of it, which is a slow, uh, dreamy, intimate section, if you want. Um, which the clarinet comes in with very little introduction. It's just big, uh, long lines, long melodies, and it's and then between the two parts, that's a very long and very difficult clarinet cadenza, in which you just go up and down the register of all the instruments. It's, it's very fun. It's very fun to play. Um, and then after that, and to finish, there's the second part of the concerto, um, which is more energetic, dynamic. It has lots of um, rhythms, very rhythmical, uh, lots of interaction with the orchestra, and it has some humor in it as well, um, which I think is also one of Copland's um, traits as a, as, a, as a composer, humor, uh, as well as intimacy, like very, lots of tenderness. It was commissioned by and composed for really for Benny Goodman, so it has lots of jazz influence in it, like in the harmonies and, and the way the music goes from one place to another, and also also I think it um, it's influenced a lot on some Latin American motifs and, and way of composing. Copland composed this when he was in Brazil, and for example in the in the cadenza, it's like this sort of rhythm, which which I like to think of, um, you know, sort of like a Latin rhythm, really. Uh, I think that for for this piece, we're very lucky that we have um, a great reference, which is recordings by Benny Goodman, who commissioned the piece, who this piece is written for, conducted by Aaron Copland, the composer himself. Um, which actually I think Copland considered those the best recorded versions. I mean, there probably weren't many anyway, <laughs> but, uh, but we have a fantastic reference, very, very authentic, as authentic as it gets. We have the composer and the, and the soloist that this was dedicated to, really. So to prepare for this, I like to, to, listen, to, this, to, to listen to their version, you know, see what they did, uh, also to listen to well, I, I don't do it for, to prepare for this piece, but just for fun, you know, to listen to Benny Goodman and, and his band and all of that, and that's, it's always great to listen to that. And to, that, to get into that kind of sound, you know, and that kind of phrasing, you know, it's good to, to go to the origin of it, which we can, and we're very lucky. I think that this piece, uh, well, uh, and the rest of the program is very dynamic, very, very diverse. Uh, already with this piece, you have uh, the best of many worlds. You have everything in in, in just about twenty minutes, or maybe less. Um, you have lots of expressive, intimate um, mood to to start with. You know, very very emotional, and then you have a lot of show, showy offy virtuoso. Um, uh, segment in the cadenza, and then lots of fun after, lots of fun and, and humor. And actually, in the in the score, it says with humor, 
you know, many times. So already in this piece is, it's not too long, it's quite short, but uh, it's, it's a fantastic journey. It's very, very complete. I'd say that, that this is quite a challenging piece, you know, like it's, a, it's very technical. Actually, um, the first, um, how would you say, the first version, when, the, when it was first composed by Aaron Copland, uh, Benny Goodman revised it and basically they adapted some, some of the really crazy, crazy tricky bits that he wrote initially and they changed it to a more simplified version. It's only a few bits, uh, but still after that it's quite crazy to play, it's really, really crazy. But it's fun, it's very, very energetic, very dynamic um, and uh, you can just go nuts and if you, if, you, if you mess up, you mess up and it's fine, no one is going to kill you. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm just already excusing myself for <laughs> what I cannot do.